Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Jeremiah Hersey. I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. And today we're gonna to be focused in on the new feature that just came out for Power BI, specifically for the line chart visual. And what this is, is a series label that we can turn on with inside of our line chart so that we can get a better, easier way to identify what the lines represent inside of our line chart. We're also gonna be talking about some shading features that we can take advantage of as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Power BI desktop. So here we are in the Power BI desktop and I just have a basic table here. I'm sure most of you have seen this failed banks table already. That's just pulling from the data.gov website. And so I just have two basic tables here and I'm gonna go ahead and add the line chart. And all the functionality as far as adding values into the line chart are exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab this total banks measure that just counts the rows in my failed banks table. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the year. Go ahead and bring in the year into my axis here. And let's do a comparison to a distinct count of the closing dates for each bank. So two options here, I can either add it into the values section from the first value to compare the two. And notice that we're getting the same value. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a distinct count so that we can get a different number for our values for closing banks. So we can see here that there were 43 looking at the closing date. So although in 2009, we actually had a total of 140 failed banks, as far as the days are concerned, there are only 43 dates that have closed banks. Now we can have multiple banks that fail on the same day, but because this is a distinct count, we can see that value. So we have our legend here at the top. So we can see that light blue is the total failed banks and the count of closing date or the distinct count is the dark blue. But what the feature is that we can use that's really neat is if we go inside the format paintbrush, so in our visualizations pane, and what we're gonna turn on this new feature right here, series labels, okay? So what this is gonna do, it's gonna allow us to label each one of these lines so we can get a better idea of what that value represents. So we can go ahead and turn on the series label And notice we can also change the position right here. So I'm gonna put this to the left. Let's change this up a little bit. So obviously we have our value section, so we could put this in the secondary value section if we wanted to, to do a comparison between the both of them. So notice that the light blue right here is associated to this axis over here on the left-hand side. Okay, so total banks, it's saying, okay, here's my total banks um, indicator over here on the left. And then if you look on the right, you're gonna see pretty much the same thing, but this one is for the dark blue line, which is the count of closing date. And you can see that now that we've kind of separated them, you can kind of see a little bit better um, that series label and what it represents. But we also have some additional features here that we can really take advantage of. So inside the analytics tool, so the analytics tool is the little uh, magnifying glass right there. So we can go inside our analytics tool and we can add some additional shading visualizations into our visual here. So if we go into the X axis, okay, so we can add an X or Y axis constant line. So what's neat about this is, let's say that I wanted to add a line, um, let's look at anything past, let's say 2015, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter the value of 2015 here. It's gonna create a vertical line on my x-axis. And then what I can look at is the shade region. So notice the shade region right now is none. So what I can do is I can actually add a shaded region, I'm gonna say after 2015, and notice I get a blue shaded region indicating anything past 2015. Now you can also do this on the Y axis as well, 
but this is a great way to kind of segment your visualization to kind of isolate the pieces you want to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new constant line here. And I'm going to say the value is, I'm going to say 2015, but this time, okay, so when I change my shaded region before, so this is going to give me anything before 2015. And we'll go ahead and give it a different color here. Notice the shade color. We'll give it a, let's give it a nice peach there. So this is just another way to visually represent data inside of your line charts. And so this series total, which once again, you can see it down here, representing the different lines, it's a little bit easier to see rather than having to go to the legend and identify the line and what you're looking at. So pretty neat new customizations to the line chart visual. So just remember that as each month progresses, Power BI updates on a monthly basis and there's always new features, always new functionality inside of the Power BI desktop. Make sure you like our video and subscribe to our channel to get more content. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.